Okay, today we're going to be um, looking at multiplying a two-digit number by a single-digit number, one-digit number. Now, we talked about this yesterday. You watched a video, and um, I want to break it down in a little bit of a different way um, to help you guys um, see the pieces of how we are... Um, how we look at and find the answer for 37 times 4. So 37 times 4 is the same thing as 30 plus 7, right? And then timesing that by 4. Now, usually that's not how we write things out, but it's going to be important here so that we can, so that we tell ourselves that this is a tens um, number because we want to look at that place value. So I'm going to be, when I look at this number, I'm going to not be thinking of it as a three. I'm going to be thinking of it as a 30. Okay. So like all math equations, we're always going to start with our lowest value. And so right here, I'm going to multiply seven times four. Okay, that's going to look the same thing over here. These are the exact same equations. That's why I'm looking at, I'm going to be answering them side by side. They're the exact same. I just wrote them a little different. Okay, so 7 times 4 is... 28... Okay, and I'm actually, I don't need to write it that way. Okay, 28. And so that's going to be that value right there. Now, that's not going to be my whole answer, right? That's only looking at my ones place value. Now, I'm going to look at this part, okay? Remember, it's not three times four. This is in the 10 spot, it is 30 times four. And we know how to do those, right? We times three times four, 12, add the zero. So what would that be? That would be 120. Okay. Now, because I can add these two values together to make it 37, I'm going to add these two together to figure out what all of it would be. So I'm going to add that up. Oh, it's a different color here. And so we have... Make sure that it equals the same on each one, right? 148. So 30 times, um, 37, sorry, 37 times 4 is 148. So let's try this again. Let's try it with an, a different one, okay? All right, we have 52 times 8. So let's think about what this also could look like. 50 plus 2 times 8, because 52 is equal to 50 plus 2. Oh, it kind of paused me for a minute, sorry. So 52 is equal to 50 plus 2. Okay, so now, making sure I got my colors right, I started with red. All right, so... I'm going to start here, and 2 times 8 is 16. Trying to give you guys that time to solve it on your own. Be also working on those basic multiplication facts. Okay, and I did green. Okay, now... I'm going to be looking at my tens place value. Remember, it's not 5 times 8, it's 50 times 8. So 5 times 8 is, because I'm going to do hide the 0, okay? So 5 times 8 is 40. Bring the 0 back, what would that be? 400. Okay. 
Okay, now what would I do with these numbers? I add them up. Okay, so let's add these. So 52 times eight is 416. All right, we're gonna do one more. So we have 19 times five. This is the same thing as 10 plus nine times five. All right, what place value do we start multiplying in? The ones. All right, this will be a quick one for you. Nine times five is 45. Okay, now you guys look at this one quick. 10 times five, remember it's not one times five, it's 10 times five is 50. And what do we do with those numbers? We add them up, 40 times 45, well, I'll try that again, 45 plus 50. 95. My words don't want to work today. All right, so 19 times 5 would be 95. So I hope that this helped you better understand how to multiply a two-digit number by a one-digit number.